Hello and welcome to the session. The given question says, in figure 2, PQ is a diameter of the circle with center O if angle P, Q, R is 65 degrees, angle S, P, R is 40 degrees, angle P, Q, M is 50 degrees, find angle Q, P, R, angle P, R, S, angle Q, P, N. Now, for the sake of simplicity, let us name some of these angles. Let angle S, R, P be angle 1, angle P, R, Q be angle 2, let angle R, P, Q be angle 3, angle Q, P, M be angle 4, angle Q, M, P be angle 5. Now first let us write down what we are given. Here we are given first that PQ is a diameter of a circle with center row. And also we are given some of the angles. Angle PQR is equal to 65 degrees. Angle SPR is equal to 40 degrees. And angle PQM is equal to 50 degrees. And we have to find first angle QPR. Then we have to find angle PRS. And lastly we have to find angle QPM. Let's now start with the proof. Now here we are given that PQ is a diameter. So this implies angle 2 is equal to angle 5 is equal to 90 degrees. Since angle in a semicircle is of measure 90 degrees. And here PQ is a diameter so it divides the circle into two equal parts and angle PMQ that is angle 5 and angle PRQ that is angle 2 lie on the semicircle therefore each is of measure 90 degrees. Let this be equation number 1. Now let us consider triangle PQR we have angle 2 plus angle 3 plus angle PQR is equal to 180 degrees since sum of all the angles of a triangle is 180 degrees. Now angle 2 is of measure 90 degree plus angle 3 plus angle PQR is equal to 180 degrees and angle PQR is given to us as 65 degrees. Therefore, angle 3 is equal to 180 degree minus 90 degree plus 65 degrees and this implies 180 degree minus 155 degrees and this gives 25 degrees. Therefore, measure of angle 3 is equal to 25 degrees. Let this be equation number 2. So this implies that angle QPR is equal to 25 degrees. Now let us consider triangle P, M, Q. Here again, sum of three angles of this triangle is 180 degrees. So we have angle 4 plus angle 5 plus angle P, Q, M is equal to 180 degrees. Now angle 5 is equal to 90 degrees since angle in the semicircle is of measure 90 degrees. So, in place of angle 5, we will put 90 degrees plus angle PQM is of measure 50 degrees 
and angle 4 we shall be finding out. So this is equal to 180 degrees. So this implies that angle 4 is equal to 180 degrees minus 140 degrees which is equal to 40 degrees. So measure of angle 4 is 40 degrees. This implies that angle QPM is equal to 40 degrees. And now we know that in a cyclic polylateral the sum of opposite angles is of measure 180 degree. So in cyclic polylateral S R Q P here angle S P Q plus its opposite angle is S R Q is equal to 180 degrees since sum of opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral is 180 degrees. Now angle SPQ can be written as angle SPR plus angle 3 and SRQ can be written as angle 1 plus angle 2 is equal to 180 degrees. Now let us substitute the values. Angle SPR is 40 degrees. Angle 3 is 25 degrees plus angle 1 as it is. Angle 2 is angle in a semicircle so it is of measure 90 degree. And this is equal to 180 degrees. So this implies that angle 1 is equal to 180 degree minus 40 degree plus 25 degree plus 90 degree. So this is equal to 180 degree minus on adding we get 155 degrees and this is equal to 25 degrees. So angle SRP is 25 degrees. Therefore, angle SRP is equal to 25 degrees. Hence, our answer is angle QPR is equal to 25 degrees. Angle PRS is equal to 25 degrees and angle Q PM is equal to 40 degrees. So, this completes the session. Hope you have understood it. Bye and take care.